Hello everyone, Mikey Dare Panginator here with another Hearts of Iron 4 Man the Guns Dev Diary, also 1.6 Ironclad. This is the 26th Dev Diary for Man the Guns, and this one is talking about tech changes. Tech changes. Uh, our fearless leader, Archangel85, is posting this Dev Diary, and today, obviously as the title implies, we're going to talk about the changes to the tech tree and the technology system. So there's first of all the new tech tree for ships and other naval equipment which uh, adds over 50 new technologies and uh, there have also been some small changes made to the army armor and infantry tech trees uh, with the addition of amphibious tanks and uh, to electromechanical engineering through the addition of fire control systems. So just looking at the screenshot for, oh, squeaky chair, for all of the ships, you still have your, um, like was mentioned in an earlier dev diary, they replaced uh, the tech tree just researching classes of the ships with researching hulls of ships. So we have destroyers, obviously your destroyer hulls, you know, all the normal hulls. So you have destroyer hulls and connect to that. It looks like we have some kind of smoke screen type of deal. And then it looks like anti-submarine weapons with the depth charge, uh, the depth charge like thrower, a hedgehog, and I don't know what the last thing is. And then it looks like we have some sonar stuff uh, connected to the destroyers. With cruisers, you have, uh, well, you only have cruiser hulls. You don't have heavy or light cruisers anymore. That depends on how you build them. Uh, looks like there's a little seaplane catapult launcher deal and then you have some uh hole like looks like some reinforced cross section type dealy things i don't know what those do uh then you have your heavy ship hulls for your battleships and uh the same type of deal with the cruisers there uh you just have your standard carrier hulls and then for submarines under submarines you have uh looks like some snorkel modules and then torpedoes you have some torpedo deals and some torpedo things with lines. I guess that might be targeting or detonation systems or range or what have you. And then armament. So it looks like we have light, medium, and heavy guns. So light guns are your dual purpose AA type American destroyer, five inch of freedom turrets that I like. And you have some little shell dealios. Then you have your medium guns, which I'm guessing are your, you know, your light and heavy cruisers. So your six and eight inch guns and also some shells for that. And then you have your heavy guns, which look like they're your battleship guns, and of course, shells with that. And then I guess the one at the bottom may be at secondaries. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, damage control, got some stuff there. Got some fire control methods. Uh, your The transport things, that is still there, which I uh, adds you know your naval invasion capacity. And then mine warfare, because don't forget mines are being added. So it looks like mine laying and... Uh, via airplanes and detonation stuff and also mine sweeping stuff. So many of the technologies unlock new modules, but some do not, such as ammunition techs, fire control methods, and damage control training, amongst other, um, uh, and, so, you know, those and others, they don't, uh, damage control training amongst others don't. Oh. So those are ones that do not have uh, modules associated with them. I'm reading it as I'm doing this. I mean, I've read it once before, but you know, these, these people aren't always English. I don't know about Archangel. Uh, let's just continue. So instead of unlocking new modules, they provide past bonuses, which make them quite valuable since you don't have to build or refit a ship to make use of them. These are kind of like some of those infantry techs where they don't unlock new infantry equipment. They just make them better. Uh, same thing with artillery. And we have, you know, uh, when you continue researching down the line for support companies. So uh, here's a close-up screen of one of them, Depth Charge Thrower. Note the experience you can spend to boost the research. And uh, yeah, uh, basically the Depth Charge Thrower, it allows you to have better anti-submarine warfare since you're able to well throw the depth charges as the name implies and not you don't have to sail over the submarine and just roll them off the bat so the industry tech tree has also been expanded to accommodate fuel refining and storage and uh so the new text the the line on the right uh basically what those do are they make your refineries more efficient so you get more fuel per oil and then 
Uh, as has been mentioned in a previous dev diary, synthetic refineries don't provide oil, they just uh, go straight to fuel generated by each synthetic refinery. Um, but of course you don't need synthetic refineries to build fuel if you already have natural oil production. So you don't have to build, you know, normal crude oil to fuel refineries, you just only have to build synthetic refineries on the map. Um, of course all these new techs add a lot of research on a pretty full research tree, so they've taken steps to offset the increase, but before uh, they get onto that, uh, here's a close-up view of firefighting drills, which uh, flavor text says, every member of a ship's crew from the captain down to the simple sailor must be able to help in containing and fighting fires on board the ship. So what firefighting drills do are reduce the chance that you will receive a critical hit. And if you do receive a critical hit, it uh, reduces those effects by 10%. So the changes that uh, help offset the increased number of techs. Uh, everyone gets a 15% increased research speed across the board. And uh, in addition to that, a lot of the research in the naval check tree as well as doctrine researches benefit from the new research with XP system. Uh, so you take your naval or army or air XP and you can spin it to get a bonus during to, bon uh, to boost your research speed. So for things like fire control methods and damage control training, when you research without XP it's more time consuming because, you know, there's a lot more effort coming up with this stuff rather than learning by experience. Well, you know, there's a mechanic to simulate actual, you know, learned experience. But anyways, so we have a screenshot of semi-caliber, semi-armor piercing shell, which if you spend 50 naval XP, it appears it gives you 150% bonus during research. Um, this will be mentioned later, but this that's 150% most of research speed and not a reduction of research cost. So, small caliber semi armor piercing shells, a compromise between armor piercing and explosive performance and explosive power. This shell does significantly more damage after punching through the weak armor of light ships. So, for those of you familiar with World of Warships, this is like the inertial fuses for high explosive captain skill, which reduces your fire chance but increases your armor penetrating capacity of artillery shells. This is that, but in World of Warships. So, as I mentioned earlier, they made changes to how research bonuses are granted and how ahead, ten, and how ahead of time bonuses are handled. So, what research bonuses used to be was they'd reduce the cost of the research, but now they boost research speed. So, what a 50% cost reduction would have been in pre-man the guns will now just be 100% boost in speed. So, it's the same effect, but just calculated differently, easier to mod, stuff like that. And uh, so there's that. And then there's ahead of time bonuses, which will, um, instead of uh, reducing the ahead of time penalty, it'll redu reduce the years that are associated with that tech. So a 1944 tech with the two year reduction penalty will count as a 1942 tech. So instead of you know, somehow being able to get a tech like several years ahead of time because you get a ahead of time bonus. You just reduce the amount of years so you can get it earlier for um, the same cost. And the example they give with this is the treaty with the USSR for the Germans. And uh, so this would give you the ahead of time penalty and the research bonuses for your Panzer threes and other tanks. And so. Uh, what now reads is reduces your ahead of time penalty by two years and gives a hundred percent research speed bonus um, Gives you that for the Panzerkampfwagen 3 and two hundred percent research bonuses for armored technology And that is all for this dev diary. Where are the rejected titles? Archangel, what are you doing? Daniel, Podcat, everyone, Bratton Everyone at Paradox, please bring back rejected titles. They were funny. I enjoyed them. But anyways, that's it. Uh, I'm looking forward to all of this. Uh, these are all things we kind of knew about. And, uh, well, what Archangel says is that's all for today. Next week, they took take a, we will take a look at art and music coming in Man the Guns. I'm pumped for the music because, I, as you can tell in the backgrounds of these videos, I love the Hearts of Iron 4 music. Uh, my favorite is Heroes of El Main from um, Together for Victory. But uh, as people kind of mentioned later on the forum post, if we're already getting onto art and music, 
That must mean the release date is coming soon. I hope that's announced shortly. I can't wait to get this started. So let me know what you think of the Dev Diary. Uh, let's have a little discussion in the comments. I like all the added stuff. I'm interested to see how balanced the new research stiff stuff is. So while it may allow you to kind of, I wonder like how the pace is going to change. So, like, are you going to be able to keep pace um, that you were able to maintain before all the research stuff? Is it going to be faster overall? Is it going to be slower overall? And then say you're a country like Hungary and naval stuff doesn't, matter to you are you able to uh, focus more heavily on other areas and kind of you know compound your bonuses by specialization but of course that is all that's all i have for you in this dev diary uh overview video hope to see you all in the next one if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to, chan to the channel thanks for watching and until the next one this is mikey Panzerator signing out see you nerds